Hey y'all, welcome to sixth grade, chapter nine, lesson five. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so they want for you to graph the linear equation. Okay, so we're gonna start with number two, number one's already done for you. Okay, and you have divided by three. So I would recommend, highly recommend, that you pick multiples of three for x. Okay, so for x, I'm gonna fill in three, six, and nine, okay? Now, x divided by three, which means three divided by three is one. Six divided by three is two, and nine divided by three is three, okay? Now, it makes it easy when it's divided by three because you've got multiples of three, so it makes it easy to divide them by three, okay? If you've got four divided by three, that's gonna be a rough one to graph. Okay, so now we're going to come over here and we are going to go for three and then we're going to go up one. That's your first point. Okay, your second point is you're going to go over to six and you're going to go up to two. That's your second point. Okay, your third point is you're going to go over to nine and up to three okay now on these you want to make sure that you always have a ruler close, ah, sorry close by so that y'all can do that okay because they want you to go ahead and line those up okay all right so you will notice that these look an awful lot like the ordered pairs you guys did a few chapters back Okay, that's all they are. It's X and Y. Okay, so now you are going to create just a tiny little chart over there. And I would go X's and Y's, and then X is one, Y is two, X is three, Y is four, X is five, Y is six and x is seven y is eight so you will notice that to get from x to y we're just going to add one okay so uh, on every single one of these one plus one is two three plus one is four five plus one is six seven plus one is eight okay so now we're going to do we are going to write out the equation of y equals x plus one, and we're done, okay? All right, so now we are going to do another chart over here. Now we can do the bottom side here, okay? I'm going on a three, so whatever, we're good, okay. so. 1, 4, 1 1.5, 6, 2, and 8, okay? I don't know why I did that backwards. I have no idea. In any case, that should be up there and that should be down there, but it doesn't change the relationships. So I'm going to leave it for now, okay? All right, so, um, so to get from 1 to 4, we have to multiply it by 4. If we multiply 1.5 by 4, do we get 6? We know that if we multiply 2 by 4, we get 8. So I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to go 1.5 times 6. I'm going to see how we get, okay? So 6 times 5 is 30. Carry that 3. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 1, or sorry, plus 3 is 9. Why did I multiply that by 6? I meant to multiply it by 4. Goodness, guys, my brain is not with us today, apparently. So. Now I'm going to go right here and I'm going to go 1.5 times 4 because that's what the relationship is between the rest of these. And I'm going to see if I get 6. Okay, so 4 times 5 is 20, carry our 2. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. And I have to go in 1 for the decimal right there. So I do get 6, okay? So that means that y equals x times well, I guess instead of x times, we should put 4x. It's 4 times x, okay? Because, okay, 
four x is the same thing as four times x, okay? So x times four is equal to y, that's true, okay? All right, so I want you guys to try and do five and six, five and six, okay, on the bottom there. And then you're gonna go on the back and you guys can do the lesson check. We are gonna go ahead and do the spiral review, okay? So, It says one of the expression, oh sorry, of the three expressions shown, which two are equivalent? All right, so let's do it, okay? So three plus two onto nine plus two n, okay? Let's do that one first, okay? So three, Nine and two n, we cannot add those together because this one has a variable. So we can't do that, it has a letter next to it, okay? But we can distribute those, which is what we need to be doing, okay? So we're still gonna keep three and plus because those didn't disappear, okay? Two times nine is 18, plus two times two is four, and we keep the n, okay? Now we're gonna combine our like terms and get 21 plus four n, okay? So that's the first one. Okay, the second one says seven on to three plus four n. Okay, well, when we distribute, we're gonna get seven times three is 21, and seven times four is 28 n. So those two at the very least are not. We need to do the last one and find out where that is, okay? So the last one, Oh, says 21 plus 4n. That's the same as this one. So that one and that one. Okay. All right. We are going to go over to number four. And it says, which of the following solutions where j is bigger than or equal to 0 0.6? Well, one is bigger than 0 0.6. So that one is. J says negative 0.6 would be bigger than or equal to. No, that's not it. Uh, three fifths is if we did three inside the box and five out, we would have to add that decimal and raise it. So then five would go into 30 six times, which gives us 0.6. So that three-fifths is equal, 0.12 is not, one is smaller than six, so no, it's not, and zero is smaller than six, so no, it's not, okay? So just those ones, so j equals one, and j equals three-fifths, okay? All right, red grapes cost $2.49 per pound. Write an equation that shows the relationship between the cost and the number of pounds of grapes, so, the cost equals $2.49 per pound. That's it, y'all. I'm put a dollar sign there, it doesn't hurt anything. Okay. It costs $8 per hour to rent a bike. Nico grasped the relationship using X for the number of hours and Y for the total cost. Which ordered pair is a point on the graph the relationship? So we could have eight. one okay so now we just need to multiply eight well i could do 16 and then multiply this by the same number two because eight times two is 16 one times two is two we could do eight times three is 24 one times three is three okay we could do eight times four is 32 one times four is four so any of those will work. You just gotta have one of them. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for chapter nine. Come on back for chapter 10 soon.